these women were just <laughs> absolutely destroying LRV. So it could be interesting to see if they perhaps can do that tonight as well as we are heading into Vertigo Roma. I'm excited, Hedjajo. I am super excited. <laughs> I'm super hyped. I have my tea, I have my water, and I have my co-caster, Donna. And oh, we are I'm starting. So happy. <laughs> yeah, we are starting things off. It's the piss round. It is Vertigo. And here we go. It's a slow start. No, no, it's just going to be jump spotting for info. Has her teammate got us up close and personal with those dual berettas? Oh, that can be so deadly. Look at Younger as well. I think she's holding a flash. Oh, here we go. Oh, One, no. two, three. Am I so easy? <laughs> oh, I love the dual pistol road. I love and I hate them. You know, when you play against them, it's always uh, unfortunate. But having those and being like close range, it's so overpowered. And now they're down on two people. I mean, nothing much that they can do right here. Uh, you have another Frex from Poppins coming, it's just, it's naming. I don't think it's gonna be able to plant the bomb, but just trying maybe to like, you know, get a few kills, remove some pebbles, and uh, you're trying to get a peek from heaven. Yeah. She gets spotted and younger, she finishes it. It's a clean pistol rounds, and oh my God, Goddess 3K, that was amazing. I love that round. Yeah, that was a brilliant set. Uh, normally when you have some sh someone who's jump spotting on uh, sandbikes there, you don't have anyone up close like Goddess. And what a beautiful 3k from her. Absolutely brilliant. Hmm. Did you see, or did you not see, when uh, Endgame, they, they pulled an April Fool's uh, joke on us, saying that no, the, I didn't Flicks see had, the Flicks had what? left the team. No. <laughs> she was out. <laughs> Uh, all of us were oh biting it a hook, line, and sinker in our in the like the group chat, uh, thinking like, what? How did this happen? We were chatting uh, with each other about it, like me, Lucy, Willis, and uh, we think like, what is going on here? She was one of the best players. On yeah, end, this, end game. Where's she going? She yeah, exactly. Because she's so good, so you know she didn't get kicked or benched or something. She's going somewhere else. That was that was a good prank though. And now we're in the second round. It's just an eco and goddess. She is farming kills with the MP for the extra money. Oh my god, that is gonna be so good for the money. Look at that. And then oh. ace. Oh, <laughs> what? What? She has six thousand now. Look at her <laughs> oh. bunny. It's amazing. It ah. is amazing. What a way to start off a game. Just a three K ah. and then the ace. I mean, is she not gonna let anyone else have any frags? <laughs> God, that's sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of understand it, you know, with the weapon she had, she just like tried to farm for some extra money. And I think the other players are gonna get their share now as well, starting in the third round. No, but now it's uh, against the uh, first buy of Endgame, so I would be a bit, uh, a bit more, a bit more safe here. A little bit more safe, already younger as uh, her op, which is great. Even over, <laughs> donated over by Goddess. And uh, it's gonna be a very, little bit of a slow here, Goddess. Just gonna put down that smoke. Leflix is ready for it. Turns away though, perhaps at the worst possible timing. But surely they are gonna check it. They do, but Goddess. Oh, she gets one before she's traded. Things are gonna get slowed down again. Julie not interested in staying in that position towards B ramp or B lobby. That is because before they're gonna play this one aggressively. Gonna try to retake some information, reclaim some space. But as I'm saying that end game, they are heading over towards B side. Yeah, they're starting oh, the information. Now. Yeah, they have a lot of info now. They're calling for the rotation as well. You can see how fast they're rotating. We have already Poppins and Nani rotating very fast, flash coming from Poppins, and uh, this took too long by endgame, unfortunate. They missed their window. Oh, but the frags! No! Poppins! They need me, they're both taken out in the Molotov. How did that happen? Now the fix. It looks so good, she's left one versus two. I'm gonna try to get the plant. At least some money for her team. 
turns around, Nani, and no other than Nani comes in with a headshot. Clean, clean, clean. Um, I mean, they had like three casual casualties. It's not the best, but they still have uh, some money saved up. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. And so, yeah, Endgame, they had a pretty good window here and they had an opportunity because they only had one player on B at this moment. Uh, and I think the mid rotation was not that close, but uh, they hesitated too much. And then in the end, uh, they just like got the info on ramp, called for the rotate, and then it was pretty tough to fight against so many players being that close here, especially Nani with the moment uh, towards the end being so close already. And yeah, it's a missed opportunity for sure. That's that's gonna sting a bit, but nothing lost yet. It's just the beginning of the round. Younger, great position here for a lot of info and they know it's gonna be an A rush right now. Yeah, look at this passive hold here. Goddess, she was uh, a little bit uh, lonely, but as the rest of the team has come through, they're gonna flash, but flash. Can't uh, connect the shots here, but oh, this nade is going to be destructive. Takes out some HP via Naomi. Come to low. Gonna have to get the move on here, and it's only it's only defense is waiting for them. Nani, a little bit of a uh, world bank there. Not the surprise at all for the four that the uh, end game players are. Uh, and just four players here. Yeah, Nani. Reloading Poppins with two goddess though. She's gonna get one through the smoke. The flick has been waiting so patiently and she catches her off guard. Still, how has this turned into a three versus two situation in favor of end game? That is Mulan actually unexpected. Oh! Oh my god. So this is uh, this is the part where you almost got the ability to win the, back uh, the, the game again and then you lose to such an unfortunate moment when they just like kill you while you're trying to plant the bomb. So I think her position was not optimal here. You could see uh, her, the back a bit in a certain position. I think planting the bomb a bit more towards the mid of the box would have been a bit safer, but uh, it was a nice try though. I mean, Considering that uh, they had already four CDs on the A side, it looked like they would not even be able to get the bomb planted on. I mean, they didn't have a lot to work with. They had a few tech nines, uh, not full utility left. And so, uh, yeah, it was it was a good try though. But uh, getting that bomb plant would have been very important to them, especially for the money. I mean, if you look at mm -hmm. their economy, um, it is pretty down. Endgame is really struggling, yeah. like with the spy rounds. But Naomi, she got actually an entry in mid. So this is a great, uh, great opportunity for them right now because you're going to have the rotation towards mid, and it's yeah. going to leave uh, probably only two players on the A side. And now they can work with that. Yeah, and see also how this has shifted uh, the defense. Julie, who's playing alone on B side, as uh, per this moment, she has to play way, way more passively. Cool little smoke there. That's a CT smoke, but it's gonna give the uh, it's gonna give Endgame the opportunity to go closer towards the site. But they respect the smoke. Here comes the execute. Julie, she's all alone. There's no backup here. Just has to perhaps concede the site, concede the plant. But they were gonna spam through the smoke. Oh my God, Donna, this is such uh, such a way to play it. I would say very smartly played. Uh, very smart. I would call it yeah. uh, uh, disciplined. Absolutely disciplined. I mean, they uh, they made a few mistakes before, but now it seems like they're like you know trying to not uh, do the same things again. And they took a lo also a lot of space. I really love the after plan situation here, and uh, it's gonna be tough for before to just like get on that side. Very tough. Try to very clear. tough. They're going for it, and why it takes out. Uh, it's going trades and going back and forth here. Julie doesn't have a lot of bullets left in that M4. We're gonna bring out the Tech 9. They found one each and now it's all down to the flicks. Can she hit this through the smoke? She's missing all her shots. The bomb is oh, in the fuse. No. Oh, what is going on? This is heartbreaking. No, this was the best round so far they have played. It was good, well executed. They had good after plan uh, positions. Maybe except that uh, our middle box was not optimal, but uh, just like that, they had the ramp control on B was very important for them to play also in the, like, the post plant and to play for the diffuse and everything. And now it just like fell apart. So um, also missing those shots was uh, kind of like very unfortunate uh, situation very because this was important. Yeah. This is where you have to be a key player in the situation to win the clutch. And they did manage to. And now 
it's actually great that before I went for the retake, even though it is not the easiest retake on uh, on B, especially if they like uh, already took control of ramp and stuff. So um, they made the best out of their situation, and it's actually incredible. They're leading it was now. A brilliant retake, I will have to say. It was it was a great retake, but uh, I think it's also the missed shots were a bit uh, like the nail in the coffin, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, it's uh, such small margins in the end, and uh, and uh, even even with the uh, uh, player <laughs> basically running out of bullets and not still showing absolutely no fear, absolutely yeah. sticking to the plan, knows that she has to to leave that uh, second player gonna kill quad, and then it's just beautiful how instant that the fuse is being stuck. How uh, yeah. in her face, uh, Le Flix, so much pressure on, on her. And uh, it's uh, because uh, before, it's just the last two players, they were just stressing her out, being in her face, being in their business, not allowing her any room to, to breathe or make any sort of adjustments. They adjusted uh, absolutely brilliant and... Uh... I think it's gonna be a very dominant CT side from before. So what we have seen so far, they're doing a great job. Um, Endgame, they showed also some discipline in the last round, but uh, didn't quite manage to close it. So they're getting their way into the side. I mean, you saw it also on their eco, like on their pistol rounds, when they almost got the bomb plant. So they managed to get there, but they also have to be able to close it. And now we are in the sixth round here, already position taken and sandbags. And early information and an early entry by Younger on top oh. and another one on the flicks. Oh my god, she almost hit the flick again. But now Brandina, she managed to get the refrag. It's 3v4 right now. Yeah. Three versus four. And uh, everything seems to be in order for B4 to get their sixth round. Gonna be taking some information here on Brandina. She is right behind the corner. Trades and wins her duel and they're not ready for Vi. This is surely it. This has to be it. This and has games. to be it, Hedja. And this round. <laughs> yeah. I want oh. to see the first year round, year round here one because they really need also to like start yeah. like getting some rounds here and yeah. finding their way into this game. The bomb is making plan. so much noise though. Julie, no. are we even going to be expecting oh, her to no, be flanking this fast? Oh my god, this has to be Naomi, but it's not Poppins. One versus one here. Why? She's going to have to be careful. Oh, that timing Oh, everything. She oh, she's going to? She's going to just stick it! She's sticking it! She's sticking um. it at the point! She has been refused! Oh my god, what the play by Poppins? Oh my god, this is heartbreaking again. It's another round so close and they lose it again in the postman situation. How is this happening, Hedja? I don't understand. It's like, it's just, it feels like, you know, luck is not on their side, but also like, I mean, they, they didn't play it really bad because they, she thought she was like maybe faking it again. It was a bit mistiming in the end, but this round was played out well towards the end, except, well, in the last moment, it was a bit unfortunate. And it's so heartbreaking there are so close to get rounds but in the end still before just managed to be uh to be the winner of those rounds and now they already took some early aggression in the gap and already get an entry nani re-aggressing and gets she gets another kill this cannot happen they are not ready for her she cannot take out two players there after they already spotted her but she managed to get those and now it's 2v3 so again Woman disadvantage here for Endgame, and uh, they still have utility left to play with, though. So I'm curious if they're gonna, just going to start a rotation towards B and try to finish B. I mean, Naomi, he, she has here already some space taken, but they cannot take too much time. Otherwise, they will be too close. She's just contacting out right now, trying to get some information, not throwing any utility at yet. They're just like trying to play on time a bit. Making them insecure. Maybe they go towards A. They don't know that, right? And uh, now they got so much info. It's actually crazy that they leave the B spot so open because uh, they have still two players here. And now when they realize that there's someone on B, they already got the bomb planted. So this is actually a good scenario for Endgame, Hatia. Yeah, that's a great scenario. But we saw what before did earlier in the retake. 
Maybe that the uh, nade damage is gonna be actually burning alive here, equalizing it in favor of Endgame. Naomi and Tata, two versus two, Julie, low on HP, is gonna have the responsibility of the off. Can she trade it here? Tata very, very aggressively. Not good for it and now. Naomi though, one and two and it's and done. And it's done, finally! Yeah, what a clutch by Naomi. Yeah, she honestly was such a good key player here. I mean, I mentioned her before when we talked about the like highlighted players or like, you know, which players and which team are like uh, having a lot of impact. And we talked about Naomi before that she has been uh, pretty good in endgame, impactful, and now she stepped up. So this was very important. It was also important that she like was so patient on uh, in front of me, just like, you know, waiting for pushes, getting the information, and then contacting out. Uh, they did it perfectly. And now I think there is a chance to start rolling rolling this game, right? And getting some T-Rounds already. Two oh. early kills here, and it's a 3v4. And I think it's going to be a second for Endgame, Hetje. Yeah, for sure. Younger, though. She's going to have something to say about that. Takes out Naomi. It's going to get flushed here to try to go and take out the second player, Tata, as well. Julie, she's there. Nani as well. But now... They're gonna be able to pick up some weapons, but it's uh, not much utility, no kit in their hands. There was a kit in mid though, did we not spot that? Are they gonna pick it up? Because endgame are going very, very slowly up uh, on towards that A side. They are probably aware of that, but I think they're just like um, too anxious that they might someone be waiting there for them. And uh, it, I honestly think that they could also just go for the save here to, mm -hmm. for some exit frags. Uh, it's a better decision for sure. They don't have uh, any money. And uh, just <laughs> saving these two rifles would actually mean a lot for their CD half. Because yeah. uh, even though they're leading 6-1, to one, well, 6-2 to two soon, um, it's still it's still early in the game in the half. And uh, if they're low on money, it can actually fast be a tight score and uh, they should try to get as many rounds and see as possible and just also trying to save their money. So yeah, better choice, better decision here to save uh, those two rifles and also look at Julie. She has a full yeah. set of utility saved up, yeah. which is actually yeah. pretty, pretty important here. Yeah, and they also have uh, a Dega, maybe a second pistol as well that they can uh, throw over to one of their teammates and suddenly they, they have quite a decent uh, quite a decent weaponry to deal with uh, the uh, aggression of, uh, yeah. of Endgame. We're seeing what kind of stuff that they are going through in this round. And it's another default on the board. I have a couple of players towards mid, a couple of players towards A. And look oh, at look this, at it's a double stack. boost! A double boost! Here, goddess, triple boost. I love how you said that. I have an even deeper <laughs> uh, line down towards uh, the scaffolding. Yeah, I hope it's going insane. to pan out. As we see, the tower is happening on the other part of the map oh as well. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> I want this board. to work out so much. It's actually great to see. So let's see yeah. who is going to run into the first tower. It looks like that the B players and Tata is going to be the first victim. Or is it actually Naomi? She's Julia, she gets she gets one, not another. But yes, Amber, she look. picks up the Galil. Yes, she does. It all works out. This one excellent. We're gonna just stick together. You gonna have first contact. Maido takes up pop base, makes up quickly, taking on Nani as well. Only goddess left. We can discuss a little bit more the brilliance uh, as we are gonna see goddess being taken out. So they're just playing so close together. No, letting yes. the person with the rifle stay on top. Of course, the weapon is not going anywhere if they lose their lives. It's just gonna drop onto you, and you can you can play next. What do you think, Donna? Well, I think it was a good idea, honestly. But uh, because with the rifle on top, like you know, you have a pretty certain first kill, and then you saw that the second uh, player managed to get the rifle as soon as uh, they got the entry. So it was it was a good attempt, and they did some damage. I mean, it was Nico after all those two safe weapons. But now yeah. it's a third round for Endgame, and it's a full, almost a full buy here for before. I think they didn't have a full set of util, or they used it very early on. I hmm. I missed like this two. I think first I think it's, I think you're correct in the fact that they didn't didn't really have much. Ah, uh, they didn't have much. With. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's still fine though. They still have some utility to push them back. 
but uh, the pressure is there on before mm. side because uh, having like a lot of a, a whole set of utility on the steep side and vertical is very important to just like not allow yeah. them uh, to get uh, too far, especially when they try to go for an A execute. If you have new, no utility, you're pretty much powerless. You just have to True. literally let, let them give the bomb plant and go for a retake. So yeah. it's going to be important, but they're actually going for the B execute here and smoked out here. Tata taking some good space here. The Molotov is very helpful, buying some more time for the rotation. Oh, but are going to be. A 5v5 retake. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know if they're gonna be expecting Tata to be this close. He's gonna have a field day here. Only good for one though is younger trades, but the uh, frags are going in favor of uh, Endgame. I think it's a little bit of a mistake by B4 because as you were discussing, they don't have utility. They just left that B-bomb site completely wide open. And with such a limited amount of utility for the retake, how in the world did they figure that one out? And why though? Such Ooh. a crisp shot onto Younger. That's the AWP taken away too. That's so important. That's actually pretty much a deal breaker that they, like in before uh, side, that they lose the AWP. Uh, I mean, I told you already before, they're low money now all the time. So they just like trying to save as many weapons as they can. And last time they managed to save two. Now they only saved one M4 on Goddess. The AWP would have been so important. They could have tried to go for some early aggressions, uh, early aggression, some early entries for the AWP. But now they don't have that yeah. as well yeah. to put the pressure on. And they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna force around the M4. I would maybe I not do it. it. Uh, not they, do they, it. they cannot afford it now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, if they would lead with 10 rounds, I think you can do play like that. Uh, yeah. But now it's getting closer and closer and they have it to is. start managing it their money, you know? Yeah, and imagine this was a 6 to 0 lead, a uh, dominating start to the game by before. And now they are kind of having their backs against the wall a little bit. It takes Absolutely. so little to to force to force them into an eco, to force them into a force buy. <laughs> and then as they're taking out the op of uh, Younger, they will be looking at uh, probably another round on the board, unless we see even more of these spicy little details, these spicy little towers coming out of the side of uh, of uh, before. The tower towards uh, A side, the triple boost, that was not spot then. So perhaps they will try to go for that again, Donna. I mean, it would be an interesting idea, right? Especially having the M4. Uh, trying to go for another tower, just like to make cause some economical de uh, damage also to the to end game, but uh, also maybe being able to take out a rifle or something um, and play for a retake. This could be very interesting. Yeah. Um, and now this time they have a bit more money because I think last time when I did the towers, the rest of the team they only had two k. Now they have like around three k, mm. I think. So they can actually afford also to buy some deagles. This could be interesting. Yeah. Some deagles, a bit of utility, they can work with that. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. But, uh, yeah, do you play? Important. Do yeah. you play vertical with your team? Uh, no, it's our insta ban. <laughs> Insta oh no! <laughs> I know a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of teams, a lot of players do not like Vertigo. At I all. mean, I, I do like it on Pugs, uh, mm -hmm. and I I for my like I personally I would maybe even play it in the team, but uh, my mates they don't like Vertigo that much, so we just yeah. decided to ban it, and they rather play Nuke, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we just like had to decide between one of those maps, yeah. and yeah. But I mean. Vertigo is also vertical. interesting. Yeah, but I it think is. I think on the, it's such a key difference because you say you like it in Pug, and I also like yeah. it in Pug. I but in a team, it's different. <laughs> yeah, I I I had uh, I had the responsibility of locking down mid, both the city and T, and for me it was really boring because you know you have so so much action in the beginning towards both and then nothing. And, yeah, and 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 it's like kind of like the so Mirage a little bit. I think mid and vertical is such um, yeah. underutilized part of the map. Yeah, but when, I mean, what you tend to see is that either it's a fast mid rush from the T's, or uh, at least today we haven't seen it used used uh, been used much at all. So you, I think uh, a lot of teams can have. Good success if they're just <laughs> if they're just acknowledging that there's actually a part of the map called in middle which can get you to both B and to A if you play it correctly. Yeah.
Absolutely. It's very one dimensional in my opinion. And yeah, uh, now. It be because it has two levels, yeah, literally. I know. But yeah. you know, I, I really dislike the maps with two levels. I mean, York mm. Nuke is also one because uh, it always irritates you sometimes with the, like, the steps and everything. But yeah. let's go back to the map, uh, to the match right now because we're in the 11th round. Um, yeah. uh, interesting position here. Look, double setup yeah, on Nate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No way they could do way. that. This is way. Heartbreaking. Yeah, you know, I think it was a good idea from uh, before, but I think yeah. Nani, who had a deagle, she should have run out of the smoke. Because you see now, oh, Tata. Tata with two. Is it gonna be Tata with three? Ah, oh, she's gonna go away. But it's such an interesting, it's a good idea, smart play, right? She has to smoke yeah. red there. She, they hear the Mullo being, uh, being launched and then they just smoke it there immediately, which is great. But the whole point was to bait for Goddess with them for. Absolutely, and, then, and she can't when, do anything because yeah, they double nade. <laughs> she can't do anything with the double nade, so you kind of have to move away from that position, yeah. sell, the, sell the bait. You know, this is the worst case. You're right, absolutely. This would have maybe uh, saved her from the double nade. But this yeah. is, I think, I think, the worst uh, case scenario when you like go for a bait, for a double setup bait like that, and then you get double naded out. This is just, oh my god, it's wasted. Yeah, it's you know? brilliant, brilliant to play the by and game. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah they rush that pretty really good. They rush yeah. that good. I'm Close wondering if they're laughing about the double nade. I think, <laughs> I, I I think it's be. Brandina who did yeah, that. Yeah, look at this. Hello. Yeah, it was her. She just laughed about it. Yeah. Like, like, she was like, oh, <laughs> do. It's, it's uh, so satisfying to get a double nate, a double kill with an age, right? Yeah, dunk on them. <laughs> dunk on this, the sandbags. It doesn't happen often. Uh, often it does but, uh, yeah. yeah. In the fifth round one for Endgame, I'm so impressed. Had you, yeah, so we just close. talked about before. What that, happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, before it was so, so, so dominant in their last uh, series when they played against Endgame. Yeah, and now. Six, in the first six round of this half, even. Yeah, and now look at that. They caught up and it's almost a tight score. Um, but B4 on their pull by again. Oh! Look at Vice, entry. Oh my gosh, she doesn't manage to get the kill on Goddess. Yeah. But the entry was beautiful. And still, I would say that endgame, they still have the advantage here because Absolutely. they have a full set of util. And yep. it's always, always bad if you're one, if you're one player down on the CD side. Yeah, it is. It just forces you to come with uh, new, <laughs> new setups. You're, your defense has lost the one player. It's you can't defend everything. You have to make a decision. You have to choose. And the uh, end game, they know this. They know that they don't really have to do so much other than make a little bit of presence in mid. Gonna be looking towards perhaps looking oh. towards B side and the uh, then yeah, she gets uh, she gets. Uh, Price there for her patience. Now it's actually an interesting turnaround. Oh, Tata got another kill on Poppins, but Julie, she managed to get the refrag, and it's now it's a 1v2 bump. It's not planted yet. 30 seconds left. So she bump is can B. Yeah, she can uh, gamble a bit. I think she heard the sound, and now, yeah, she knows it's, uh, it's gonna be B. If oh, she she's, the first she's kill, running though. She's running. Yeah, she's she's so much noise. Seven seconds left. Oh my oh, god, no. that's the bump. That's the bomb damage, she's gonna win her duel as well, truly! With the bomb versus three clutch. Okay, now oh, I'm a bit they... disappointed, Hedy, because what? they had a smoke and a utility and they didn't use it. Yeah, Especially they after she was so loud when she rotated it from mid, like from, she rotated it like from heaven. And she was so loud. They, look, they use now the Molotov, but why not before? I mean, it's yeah, only yeah, yeah. one and they have a smoke and a Molotov, so why don't you molly first? So you yeah. can even not even stand there and yeah, rotate yeah, from yeah. mid. And then uh, smoke close so you can like cross and oh, plant. Safely, exactly. This is uh, a bit uh, less messy. sloppy. It's sloppy. sloppy and messy. Yeah, I absolutely totally agree with you. They did That's, very uh, good mid, mid round, but the yeah. end was sloppy. And yeah, uh, yeah absolutely deserved here. <laughs> are you uh, are you saying they need to work on their end game? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh You're my so god! You're bad. <laughs> It just <laughs> you, it was just me. laid out there yeah, for the taking. I, yeah, I have you had to, to have take to. it. Yeah, I would do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> it great was just standing there. Great throw, but generally though, <laughs> what what, uh, what a clutch! Oh and man! And as you say, it's a little bit more like endgame fumbling, but of course, yeah. you can't take it away from Julie. That that was 
That was just and brilliantly played from exactly. her. Exactly. I mean, she she maybe was a bit too loud, but honestly, she deserved that. Clash, what I want to say before, like she deserved it because uh, they gave her the opportunity and she took it. I mean, everyone would do that, right? If the if the enemies uh, make uh, enemy team makes a few mistakes, you take you take it and you say thank you and then you win the round. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And now we're having a very fast pace towards the ramp. Uh, they have a lot of ramp control right now. They are aware that the cities are probably gathered behind side by. She managed to get an entry before. Will she do it again, though? But now they're going. Are they going for a retake? I think they tried to like re-smoke. Yeah. But uh, no, it's look. Yeah, it just looks looks like they're trying to buy some time. And they're, yeah, they're gonna buy players. time for whoever went down the ladder. And they're Ooh. just gonna see here in the crossfire. But as Tata answering back, it's back and forth, back and forth here now. Younger, she's gonna swing out. You really get the trade, and now it's all down to the flicks from the sandbags with an open hand. April Fools is uh, not on us. Oh, when she poppins though, <clears throat> the flicks almost had the flick. It was close, but uh, mm -hmm. no cigar. Almost, almost, and they have an eight now. They start to come back alive. Eight rounds, it's pretty good for. If you consider that they have lost so many in a row, they always were out of money. And now also like their bank is looking a bit better. I mean, it's they're still they still don't have a lot of money, but you know, now they finally have like a full util set uh, saved up and uh, three rifles. It, it's looking way better than the rounds before. And end game, they have to really keep the focus because they lost the last rounds because I feel like they were not as focused. Mm. Or they lost their momentum and they have to start uh, to try to get that back if they want to dominate this half. I mean, they yeah. cannot really, but yeah. they can try to go for a seventh, which would be very good on Vertigo. Yeah, it would be really good, actually. Okay. I mean, five rounds is not bad as well, to be honest, True. especially if you win the pistol on the CD side, but having six or seven, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's something you can work with. And uh, I do still think that B4 is the better team here on Vertigo, so it would be very good for end games. Uh, game to mm. manage to get at least one more T round, and uh, I mean, they just have to yeah. repeat what they have done before. Their executes are are working out. They, they just need to working. try to close it out. You know. Yeah, exactly. It's end game. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the the end, yeah, what that. you said. <laughs> yeah, and it's end. going to be towards B side once again. This time, Julie, she has uh, Poppins backing her up. And she's gonna play a little bit close here. Do they hear that boost, Donna? Oh, the herb that now, one, for sure. Cold. Yeah, but yeah, Tata, yeah. she still wins her duel, and now Poppins is going to be in a world of trouble. Has some teammates backing her up, but does she read it? She gets one down there as well, with the one, with two. The flicks. Maybe though, this could be the play of the round, but she is all alone, and Nani. Ah, uh, out in the end. She oh. also went for the switch. Did you see yes, when she got the yes. first her first skill? She switched mm. to her knife. I think it was by accident. It didn't yeah. look like planned. And uh, then she saw the second player. I mean, you have to be aware that there is another player there, especially for sure. um, if you t the the the, the like her team they try to go from ramp, right? So you always have the CTs playing around that position and trying to catch off uh, the players that are trying to cross B. So you have to be aware that there is not only one player. There are going to be at mm. least two players around yep. that uh, area yep. and she in was like all she looks a little bit surprised yeah, yeah she looked in all surprised. normal circumstances that is actually very correct and and it kind of bothers me a lot seeing uh, players on this level when they are family it's okay if i do it because i don't play <laughs> professionally anymore yeah you know if you're pulling out nades if you're doing like sort of weird things that Pulling out your knife, jumping around, making a lot of sound when you are yeah, you give away a free kill. Exactly when you are in a clutch situation, as long as you should always, always, always keep just keep your weapon up. Yes, don't switch. Don't don't move too quickly. Just try to focus. Read the read the play. Read the the round. Where are these players holding? What is the logical outcome here? And how can I win it? Absolutely oh, correct. Oh. oh, there's more players here. And Chaos it's quick. right now. <laughs> it's quick. It's clean and younger. I think she even spotted her. God, that she's gonna, just gonna be swinging out and flex with a deagle and a dream. I don't think there's much hope here, but can she at least get something done? She cannot, sadly. 
and that's the end of this half and we will return shortly with the second half. Welcome back after such a close first half and honestly we're so surprised by Endgame's performance here. They managed to get more rounds than we, than we expect, especially considering that we had a 5-0 to zero lead uh, by B4 in the beginning. Had you, this yeah, is 6-0. Uh, six, six zero. A 6-0 six zero uh, even yeah, and they still managed more, to dominant. get 5 rounds. Did you understand yeah. that? No, I didn't. And those five rounds, in addition to getting them, after being down 6-0, to zero, they'd strung them together. That was five in a row for them. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, Tata's already taken out Julie. They got second entry towards that B-bomb site. Oh, we have, uh, we have no duels here on the CT side. I really love, would love to see another Dooley rounds, just what yep. we saw before. I think it was Goddess with the 3k in the beginning. And yeah, now we have, a, we have a, like a kind of like a, a boost here for four women boost towards the mid. Is oh, it just a, another is it a, <laughs> It's a tower. <laughs> Yeah, the tower you know, I, I call tower. every tower I see, I yeah. call it Astralis. Same. Because they started all this, yeah. stupid, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like a pool, <laughs> in pool on Inferno, uh, outside connector on the overpass. Obviously, the five-man, five four-man towers. 
And now they have, yeah, they start rotating now because they realize no one's going mid at all, but they're yeah. giving them so much space on A, they will easily manage to plant a bomb here. But do they have a second smoke though? Yeah, yeah. there it comes. And it's gonna be a bomb plant for sure, and it's gonna be a uh, 4v5 retakes uh, situation head. Oh, maybe this nade can do some damage though. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> no! It fell back. Oh, oh that's that unfortunate. So oh, but I have to plant now here. Nami. She's gonna get first contact. Name is gonna take her out. And there you got this. You have been spotted. Poppins and Younger make that only Younger here all alone. And Naomi with the second one on the board for her. The retake. The retake was brilliant. The retake was beautiful. They did not need any flashes. They didn't need, they didn't need the dual breathers in this round. The aim Perfect. was uh, sharp and on point. Absolutely. That was a Beautiful retake and a six round for endgame. And what did I say before? Even five rounds on the T side is good, if, especially if you manage to win the pistol. And they did. And now they have uh, the money to just like invest into two rifles, a few MPs on the other side before they're going to go for the force for sure because they planted the bomb. And they actually have two AKs here as well. So interesting round. So if endgame managed to win this one, I think it's, it could be a close game. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And, and let's just. Uh... Uh, mention it one more time here that uh, we did not expect end game to win today not on That's vertigo true. not on any map because v4 is just in a league on their own right now in group b absolutely we the are best looking, team right now <laughs> mm -hmm, certainly and we are looking for uh from end game we are looking for improvements and they certainly are showing us that they are, and they're fighting. I don't think that they just want to show improvements. I actually try. I think that they want revenge because they played yeah. already against before and they lost. Uh, yeah, they lost by far against them, and oh, now they oh, will they... show what they're capable of. Oh, the execute is so good, but Vi here from the back is she gonna be able to find something, get something done? Her younger is looking for her though, and the timing is just uh, and goddess here. From heaven, it's gonna rain down bullets onto Naomi, and it's all down to the flicks. I've seen her done this before. I oh, just want to say, I had a deja vu. It's so quick there. Did that not just happen before? Low yeah. Flicks. Still, I have her. Oh Do my we God. have the deja vu? Yeah. Hounds. I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen this exact thing happen, but I, be yeah. I believe that was duly, right? In her yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. Julie. Yeah, but it was like the same situation behind in the like same position scenario. Interesting. And so now on the 11th round for B4. So it's getting. It's getting. That was a little dicey from dicey with the plan. You know, before go for a, a larger investment, have better weapons at least on some of their players, and the uh, end game not able to hold that uh, defense. He's gifting around to before, and now oh, and that, that's sad, sad for them because they have to just have a little bit of a force buy. But uh, we're seeing crazy stuff being done with these uh, pistols. The Tata is not going to be able to do anything as Julie takes her out. It's a tough force buy here. Had you there down four players, three now, and they invested so much money and they didn't even managed to get a single kill so far. And I think it's pretty sure that B4 is gonna have a throw both round. And on top of that, Endgame is gonna be out of money. Look at that. Two, yeah, really five. five. That's almost impossible to win though. Julia's really gonna push up those here. Takes out the flicks and goddess. Oh He's right behind God. her. Cleans out the Vi as well. Yeah, but this, is, this is frustrating, Hadia. Yeah. They have no money. They invested. I honestly think that it would have been better to not force at all and just like try to mm. go for some like uh, push somewhere, like maybe with like an eight stack uh, push towards ramp or B ramp um, and try to go for the full buy in this round because now yeah. look, it's already 12, <gasps> 6 and they have no money. So it's, I think, pretty certain 13th round for before. And that yeah. doesn't give them a lot of space to work with. So it gives them pressure. absolutely zero yeah. margin for error. And the, the pressure is so high now on endgame side. Yeah, it is. This, this is not a good situation. Here's the, <laughs> here's the one round that you wanted them to do yeah, earlier. I wanted to, yeah, Here it, it comes. I would have loved to see that last round, though. 
Ja, så vi skal gjette om det er frags. No, eco frags. No, ni. Og one, two, three. Finish him. Four. Oh, the flicks takes her out. Just a 4k. Four and a half. We call that a Swedish ace. A Swedish ace? No, no, no. A Swedish ace. Listen, listen, Donna. A Swedish ace is when you get four out of five. That's a Swedish ace. A Norwegian ace, that's what we just saw. You get four and then you get one assist. <laughs> and then, you, of course, you have your German ace, which is all five players. Just a normal ace, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> when, the, when the Germans are doing stuff, it's always done exactly according to plan. <laughs> and with the ultimate it's precision classic, right? and, uh, and all the details uh, are done. Oh, my God. So the, the Norwegian and that, ace. And then... Yeah, the Norwegian ace, four frags and one assist. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, why? Oh, no. Uh -oh. Is it the return of the he double lane, though? No. Come no. on, before. Flash. You, you had it done towards you. Oh, the good flash there. But she was but... flashed as well. She didn't dodge the own flash. Yeah. Oops. And then she had to go oh, back. She's in there. She can see in the shadow. There. Yeah, they see? Yeah, see her. Oh, there's so much pressure. No more flashes to help her out. Maybe she's doing her utmost to help her team it out. At least they didn't get dominated. <laughs> yes, oh, this would have been so unfortunate to see that yeah, again. No nades. Only nade on Julie. But uh, Naomi, she's gonna have this lined up for the bomb planter. Here it comes. This is gonna take a lot of damage, but it's not enough to take her out. It's a hard retake, though. I think they're going for the yeah. save. I would go. I would call for the save. They are out of money again. They have to give them four. They don't have round. kit either. No yeah, kit. No kit. Only one smoke. Yes. And the so next round, it's gonna be. Uh, they might get a lose bonus, and it's gonna be really tough. Honestly, they have to do some good setup here on the CD side to manage to like you know equalize it a bit so that they don't have the full buy mm. and no money for knob as well. It's not looking good for endgame and I'm a bit uh, disappointed because they for a few rounds they look very confident very good mm. and now and then it just like kind of ended you know and so uh, and now it, it just like looks it like end, uh, it endgamed <laughs> <laughs> you really love to play with that I, I, <laughs> I, I do I do and uh, yeah no they, they had they were showing so much confidence in those rounds that they were yeah. swinging together and now you see it why in such an awful position she gets flashes from her teammates but she gets team flashed so she can't peek out and then they run out of flashes it, it's no longer any possibility to help you at some time you need to go for those uh, duels and you need to try to get your frags and oh my god Poppin and goddess <gasps> I love the play from the Dindio and Naomi, but uh, such a strong, solid hold by Goddess yeah. and Poppins. That, that is game-breaking for Endgame here. They're down to 3v5 and there's so much time left before they can do whatever they want. They have all the time in the world, they have utility, they have five players left. So it's a tough position for Endgame to be here. They have to gamble though. In this situation, I would just go for a gamble and stack uh, towards one side because they can't. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna they're gonna lose each each side. So um, we have your Tata already 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 rotating back. So I actually think they're going for a gamble stack towards A, but uh, it looks like she's still lingering towards mid, clearing so she knows mid is free. And now she starts the rotation. They can call the utility coming through A now, and they have three players here, so they can work with that. They can push them back. But uh, the problem is Julia here. Look at that. Her backstab is so well timed, and now she can call it B is completely clear. Now they can just fully rotate back to B. Tata also already started the rotation, but um, oh, she heard that there's Julia oh. already close. So that is good and slow here. Yeah, but are they gonna flash? I think they're going for a save again. 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 Oh, yeah. But they have no. to save. Oh. Poppins, though, she's gonna be a sore thorn in their backs. Why is looking for her even? The Flix is gonna take her out, but this save is going to be looking very difficult for endgame. Nah, no, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, they're getting uh, they're getting a little bit of time to breathe here. Not gonna have anyone from before chasing them to CT spawn. Two weapons saved. 
Yeah. We're gonna get another bonus if I'm not mistaken, but mm -hmm. oh my god, it's not looking good for them. Handy. And I wish to, s I, I wish they would have have uh, money for an op though. Yeah. This is also like I think I didn't see it a single time. Maybe in the first buy round, I'm not uh, quite sure, but uh, except that, if it was the case, I think they didn't have a single time an op to like, go for some early aggression for some peak because right now they're just like letting B4 pulling them. You know, they're just getting pushed by them, pushed back by them. And uh, they're in a very, very tough spot. And it honestly looks like a very dominant first map win by before, just like on the first series against uh, Endgame. And uh, yeah, there were, there were some chances there, though. There were some opportunity windows. And uh, I think Endgame did uh, had a few good in initial good ideas. They failed uh, on a few rounds to like close the round properly. Mm -hmm. They uh, messed up a few after post point situations. Otherwise, it could have it could have maybe gone a bit differently. They could have had more rounds. Yeah, just, like, potentially. I think there was the potential for seven rounds in the T half. Honestly, just they were like yeah, two very close yeah, yeah, rounds. Yeah. You know, that could have gone yeah, both ways. Yeah, it was the clutches. Yeah, the, I think exactly. what took the air out of the balloon for end game was Julius one versus three clutch. Because that was a round that they had in the bag, and that just started this utter dominance from before. Gonna see Tata get a lot of pressure here. Connects with the spray onto Julie, but it's none other than Brendinia there. Younger, doing a little bit of a team flash, but uh, things are looking super, super good here for end uh, game. Now this is a much better situation to be finding themselves in early in the round. Oh, good uh, Molo. Not going for that yet. Very uh, younger and pop -ins. I think this is going to be smart. Try to find some frags. Try to equalize. I'm going to go for the plant though. So we have a replay. It's, uh, it's, it looks very good for the retake though. 4v2 is always good. I do think that they're gonna win it, and yeah, it's the seventh round for Endgame here. I am glad they're not giving up that fast and that easily, and there's still a chance to win, especially now they managed to save four weapons, and they can finally start to go for the full buy here. I think I haven't seen them with uh, five rifles for such a long time and full utility. So now now it's interesting. This could, this could be a turnaround head, yeah. Uh, it can be, and uh, just for our viewer out there who are maybe not following uh, the South American scene, we do have an game playing with uh, Brendina as a stand-in for Star Player Sophie. But uh, I've heard that this is only for map number one, so we will see. At least for stand-in, she's been playing phenomenally. Absolutely, I think I. Um... I even mentioned Sophia before that she's like one of the impact players, uh, Correct. like on on Endgame. But honestly, Brandina, I think she's doing pretty good as well. She's doing a good job. She had some great moments. She was also the one who did the double nade kill, <laughs> which uh, yeah. yeah, was pretty cool though. And now she is gonna be in a world of trouble, a world of birth as Julie takes her out. And this is a quick A split for B4. They are showing no mercy here, goddess. But Naomi, oh, she's getting taken out there. Only Naomi left. She has the bomb, though. She has an AWP in her hands. Not the, usually the weapon that we see her play with. But she's going to give it her best. She's going to play she whips. And the goddess oh, no. is just there to take her out. And it's a 16 to 7 scoreline. Map 1 Virgo goes in favor of B4. That is, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit of frustrating towards the end because there were some chances, but in the end, before they had the better game.